Hi folks, co-tutor here and my name is Anil Deshpande. In previous video, we have seen grouping. In this video, we will move on to the another topic which is retrieving the parts of the collection. And as a part of that, you will come across methods like slice, take drop, take while, drop while, take last, drop last, take last while, drop last while and chunk and window functions. We will look at how these functions work and try to understand how to use them. So let's get into a demo. Here I have a list of strings which are nothing but list of cities. I will use this function called as list of cities dot slice. There are various variations of the slice uh, and in this case what I can do is I can give the index of from where to start and where to end the selection of the elements. So let me put it under a println statement and run this. So what it basically did is it started from 0th index and went up to the index 3 and selected those elements as a part of that. You can change the indexing and it will select the elements between those two indices. So that is one way of slicing. The other way is you can basically give a step function that is in this case by default step function is 1 because you are incrementing while traversing only by one value but in case if you don't want to do that I can write step 2 and if you check this part here you will see that after selecting Hubli it skipped Bangalore and selected Hyderabad then skipped Mumbai and selected New Delhi. So there is a step function of increment by 2 happening in the same way I can even put a step function of 3 and once again you will see the same behavior instead of 2 now it will skip twice so after Hubli it skipped two things and then directly went to the Mumbai. So that is about another way of slicing elements with a step function. There is one more thing where you can say I want very specific indices. So 2 comma 3 comma 4 but you can't give it like this. You have to put it under set of indices and now what you will get is elements at specific index that you have mentioned. So the index of Hyderabad is 2 then 3 and a 6. So this is a example of how the slice works. Now let me have a look at take and drop functions. Print and take. So what I will do is list of cities. Instead of giving the part of the elements from the collection based on the index, you want to basically say take first four elements and that will basically select the first four elements. So it is much simpler than what slice is because you don't have to mention indices. So it's another way of selecting the part of the collections or retrieving the part of the collections. And just like take there is a drop and as name indicates it drops the elements but you have to think of it in the sense that it does exactly the opposite of take. So if I just run this you will see that it dropped the first four elements and whatever the remaining things were there that was selected as the final result. So that is the reason why I said that drop is exact opposite of take. I have passed the same value to the take and drop. So what it did is it took first four elements and that is the result and in this case it dropped four elements and whatever the remaining things that were left that is the result. Now let's go with the next one which is take while and drop while. So take while what it does is it takes while a particular condition is satisfied. So let me put it like it dot length is greater than or equal to 4 and if I run this basically what happens is if it comes across string whose length is greater than or equal to 4 it selects that so in this case everything is greater than or equal to 4 so just to make it little bit more easily understandable let me make it greater than or equal to 6 hubli the string length is less than 6 so the first condition itself fails and that is the reason why you will see that the result is basically a empty list and if i just make it five now you will see that i am able to pretty much select the whole thing because this passes this passes and pretty much 
all these strings pass a length which is greater than or equal to 5. However, if I make length greater than or equal to 6, it just fails here itself and doesn't bother traversing further to take the elements. In similar fashion, there is drop while and what I will do is I will keep the condition same and as I told you earlier, drop is exactly opposite of take. So if this is an empty list, take while with the same condition, this has to return the whole list. So let me run this and as expected, it returned me the whole list. I can just change the condition here. I want to select elements, get index and alphabet which is greater than A. So it basically selects all those elements strings whose starting alphabet is bigger than a so in this case pretty much everything is bigger than a so that should return me whole list and if i give the same condition here it should give me an empty list so let me run this exactly that is how it is working there is a, another version of this that is take last and drop last so as the name indicates here in this case you are either taking or dropping in the reverse order that is from right to left so what i will do is take last four and drop last four and if i run this you can observe that take last four basically selected last four elements from the list that is what this take last did and in the same way drop last with the same condition it dropped last four elements and whatever the remaining thing that was left that was selected and it still holds back to our original thought that drop is opposite of take and in the same way drop last is opposite of take last now let's proceed further to another function just like you have function take while and drop while you have take last while and drop last while so let me just write it and let me copy paste this take last while drop last while and just to differentiate let me put a different condition so this starts from punji so starting is p so if i run this take last while it fails the first condition because first itself is p uh, if i put it greater than or equal to then it starts from the reverse order and goes up to two elements but c is not bigger than or equal to p so that is why it fails and then it basically stops going further and that is the reason why you are only seeing last two elements drop last while should do the exact opposite so let me put it here see it just gave me the elements excluding these so what it is actually doing is it starts from the last this is bigger than or equal to p so it drops it is bigger than or equal to p it drops but then this one condition fails and all these elements are not bigger than or equal to p so it is opposite of this particular condition and that is the reason why it gets selected here so that's about the take last while and the drop last while there are two more functions that we need to look at one is chunk so what exactly happens in the chunk you basically can select chunks of the whole list to create a list of sub lists you will see that it created a chunk of three elements in the list and if you see the last one did not contain three elements but it still tried to make with whatever that was available this can be very pretty handy function to do some extra transformation functions after that for example after this chunk three and i can write create a take each list of strings and with that i can write a fold function if i run this what you get is a list of three strings where i have selected first alphabet that is available in a chunk so what i did is i wrote a fold function on a chunk that got created so that's what this thing did and there is one more function that we can look at which is window which is similar to a chunk only the difference is it adds a bit more logic to the chunk functionality that we had written earlier so let me write println window list of cities dot window in the chunk you you could not write the step function but here you can so for example i want a chunk of three and uh, 
what is the window if i put three then each chunk will be mutually exclusive and then do you want partial windows or not this is a partial window wherein even if there are not three elements you still will create a chunk but here you can tell do you want such thing or not so in this case i can say false and if i run this you will see that it will only create a chunk of two windows if i don't want to have mutually exclusive i can give a step function which is less than three and if you run this you will see that hubli bangalore hyderabad then it skips hubli bangalore and takes hyderabad and selects two remaining things so it is a another chunk and then it skips two and then starts another chunk and that is the reason why here i got three windows we can't really directly think of the scenarios in which we would use these kind of functionalities but it's good to know that something like this exists out of box in kotlin so that's it about retrieving collections demo in this video in the next video we will meet with another new topic that brings us to the end of this particular video don't forget to like comment share the video and subscribe to the channel take care bye